And welcome back to RSG on the Sea, episode 9. I just realized how much of an idiot I am. I've just been sitting here doing nothing. Well, because I didn't actually pause the game because I was like, oh, I'm in port, nothing's gonna happen. Yeah, apparently you still get hungry, I guess, at all times. Okay, I gotta find where Anth is. Or the other place. Wait, am I not gaining any terror? Oh, that's really lucky then. I guess I will try... <coughs> okay, I am capable of making battle. The best eye, it knows you can evade its gaze. Oh, great. And again, you're alone in the wide black sea. The eyes are where your nightmare will come upon you from time to time, spying terror. I fear you may gain a secret. Huh. Oh, cool. Spin, and we win. Ah, so much of that. Tooth cracking treasure. Uh, chicken grit baked in your shit is biscuit. You crack a tooth and curse. Check up, but when the object turns out to be diamond, small and badly flawed. Who knows that will hush? Sacred to stone ones. Let's give it to the Z captain. It'll be luck for us. Sorry. No, the diamonds are diamonds. And so much for that. It's oil rib and uh, rainbow colors fade. Yes. Is it a young jellyfish? Uh, lesser subspecies? Do the dreams of jellyfish become real in any case? And now it's sad, it's like a goo dissolving to the Z. A former jellyfish. And we'll wait in the hole like a cup of dissolved moon once one day you eat it, or perhaps it will eat you. What am I doing? I'm trying to get rid of that. I that was a complete and total accident. Southeast. The crab cake. Assume that's a massive crab. Hmm. Oh, there's a... Uh, um, 
Oh, we've been here before. Never mind. Well, not necessarily we've seen it. Yeah, uh, Santa, well, you know, the devil Santa here. See, you want to go here. Is there a beach? Well, only the old riding deck. See what awaits you. Remember, there's inside the market and only an old running deck, dock. Sand things and damp black earth from which sprouts scented palms? Not quite. No one goes through this from like camps to this. Someone has sculpted the idea of a tree as a mushroom. In some of the quay, you hear clamor, shouts, and shooting, and you can see off in the distance smoke rising from beyond the hill. That's a fire flagging the horizon. Two tiny figures stand down the quay and moving as if awaiting your approach. Tale of Pigmon on. An extract from the popular diary of a Z captain. Oh, thanks for the literature introduce. Uh, from London to Ireland, what we did there before we arrived. Watch the shore on Mutton Island. Totally, uh, the rise in uh, Gazette. And then it remains unknown. The Tale of Pigmon Isle. Which our delegation has made a choice presented. War is declared. A most singular treasure saw by all. Nearby is found it with tooth and claw. Chapter 1. The delegation, the creature, the figures were rodents. To my left was a radis faber, wearing goggles, a black apron, and an assortment of tools. To my right, an usually large guinea pig, coming in breastplate reminiscent of nothing so much as the high middle ages. Uh, rats are forward, fierce, and bowed. Welcome, Captain, to Rat Star Island. I'm Edgar, second chief engineer of the third Rat Brigade. Why right, you to avail yourself of food and fuel at our expense? Cost you is a choice. So I could probably see the same one with what appeared to be ease of long habit. Very so forward and made it to Clementine Church. I'm Captain the Isle Cavi. I'm Lady Augusta de Rivier. Into the Blackwater Swinches. Send show to our King uh, Grisingoff, first of his name. Why don't you avail yourself of food and fuel at our expense? Only cost is, uh, to use a choice. Send so, uh, looking at me expectantly. Spoke to the Chief Engineer. Your eyes with a wave cold glint in them and wore scars like jewels. Right in the making, I asked the chief engineer to elaborate. He looks at me for a long measure moment before speaking roughly. He was an island to make a home for ourselves away from London. It's cats and snuffers. It's rat skin suits. We came to live as citizens of the Roman Republic. We came with our... There was our teeth our hands, and we made a beautiful city by the light of the rat star. And it shone bright and blue on Mount of Ararat. The chief engineer announced towards the distant hill. Hey, we braved the depths of the chicken woods, and from the top of Mount Ararat, we plucked the rat star to be our light, our beacon... But the pigs of Cavi saw the light and they lusted for it. And our armies to rule us and steal our star. Permit them to take what is ours, you'll risk their lives. Will you join us in defeating them? Night out of habit. Uh, you're gonna clear her throat with the delicacy to arrive with the dishes zone before speaking. It's not the king, our lord and sovereign. Full seven months, it sojourned on the sea, conquered this island, and won the southern main. Now, no fortress against them shall remain. No city walls. You have turned the game, save the rats that sweep beyond the mountains. That was a lamb of her deliverance. Assured shall be her glory in their fall. Lady's eyes restored be to her hall. The center composed herself in the net. Stepped to the beauty by the light of her lady's eye on Mount Ke Kevyat. The rats with their guns and their chatter and their peasants' politics stole from us. You will subjugate them and take it back. They are rabble and that we will rule them with a steel shot of velvet or a pause. Will you join us? I'm ready to make a choice. Uh, the broker of peace. Well, and then the difference. Perhaps I can get them... Yes. When you share a look then regarding these scornful amusements. Yes, well, you're obviously much cleverer than us. Alright, fine. Because uh, I gotta work with them, right? You know, as the chief engineer who shook a uh, grimly in the sun, he hissed and chattered teeth and disgust by Captain Sin. Choice said uh, the chief engineer, let me show you around. What is going on? This is way more extensive than I assumed it would be. Um, the chief engineer led me to the northern side of the island, skirting the chicken woods. <laughs> yes, where the number one can only be termed checkpoints, as fierce-eyed rats shouldered their derringers. So the chief engineer, so we came upon a small colony, smaller than some of the infestations I had encountered in the London Flats. There's only 50 rats forever, all together working diligently for the farther side of the island. The uh, thing I noticed was a brilliant light beaming out from a stump of chicken wood about six feet high. It bathed the whole sediment in a clean blue glow. 
and was almost too bright to look at. By its light, I could see several raised mounds of earth suggesting shallow tunnels. Fishing, fishing operators stood up by the water, an albino rat mending nets, um, while others stabbed sharpened sticks into the waves. Then there was a the barracks where a sergeant barked drills at a small squadron of fighters. My arrival drew attention to several rats paused in the work to look at me curiously. Welcome to Marinia, said Chief Engineer, voice warm with right. It's not much to look at now, but it will be once we rousted, rousted the cavies. Take a stroll around, I summon the war cancel. Um, the mountains left me to explore. This is the rats rocks. Um, we were fighting impressive odds. I brought you to a surgeon and went so far as to salute her, showed me a grown set of action. The sergeant dismissed the troops and offered me a bit of chicken wood to jerk it on. There's more of us below uh, low ground, she explained, but not enough. The cavies are bigger and there's more of them. We are better with weapons, but I haven't got the stuff to make them with. Those came here in stowaways and brought nothing but food, tools, and the fur in our backs. We can fish, we can nibble the chicken woods. We can't make guns out of trees. The cavies come with their own steamer. Seem to have enough supplies. We raid them sometimes, but there's so few of us, and we can never hold on to ter territory gained for long. Yeah, it's of no consequence. We want us to be left in peace of the Republic and the Rat Star. Yeah, thoughtfully after a moment, of course we want that too. Take a closer look at the Rat Star. Yeah, a star. Blue is sapphire, but unless you more room. A star, of course, not really, but try explaining that to those. The chief engineer doesn't want me working too hard to convince him. This is better for morale, but just look at it. Look, shaft from your goggles. Marked them over just enough of one of my eyes to see the truth of what she was studying. It was scintillant. Unlike any I've seen before, blue is a sapphire, but more brilliant. No matter the clarity of its color, it's immensely soothing. The chief science officer did it with pleasure as I handed her goggles back. Those who have been on the cavey side of the island and lived to tell us that there's plenty of glow there. They have bright in the water all around, but nothing like this. Comes from the island's center, Mount Arat. Uh, only it's not mounted, of course, any more than this is a star. It's hollow. Sweet water inside, and coral crawling. All the walls of it, but nothing that glows save this. So as long as no one can take it from us. Into the beach. Uh, the bio rat smiled up at me from his mending work, looking dainty and a little shy. Jing one floats, especially when it's dried out and sealed, so we're able to paddle out a bit and cast our nets. Come up with ostracism, blind fish crabs, and a chunk of broken tentacle. Fishing would never be so good without the rat story beam. It only draws good fish and keeps the scary ones at bay. Chief Sinian so doesn't believe it, but I do. I like his livelihood. Alright, now to the War Council of Rats. Um, uh, the Chief Engineer from Underground with uh, Molly Sommer over the rest. Send them to me as weapons experts, strategies, and field commanders. Can help us beat the cavy, he said a hard edge in the voice, but how exactly? Uh, we engineered a distraction that the LBs could use to plunder the cavy's ships and turn the tide in their favor. Okay, good. Um, a questing beast. Uh, I dressed up one of my zailers in a messy shabby cloth, near the prisoner's honey, and instructed him to roll around in the black grass of the sand. We had a glorious mud master sun thrashing through the chicken woods toward the cavies. And more perfectly, the cavies of their forces towards a makeshift beef. beast, uh, leaving the um, rats uh, with very little opposition as they plundered the grounded ship. Uh, they returned um, triumphant, as did my sailor, laughing, having led the cavies a merry chase. Here as the rats diligent the result in the building a remarkable cache of weapons with which so they brought their enemy. That's ever egalitarian share the spoils in addition to the promised feud and fuel. Wow. In the Veils Challenge, Hail Marania. Uh in the current your pig mode Isle Might quality is now for vulnerable. Uh, civilization is now five. I'm literally helping. Oh, wow, this is impressive. I'm legitimately just helping the rats now. And now I'm basically uh, tied to helping this civilization. Spirit. Four bale of that. One slint licked. All right. Yeah, we had fallen, Marina was triumphant, all that remains of a few celebration in this uh, community voyage. Oh, we faced it long in the night, and then... 
You want the rat? What's the ship without a uh, free rat? Um. Help them. Now she appeal to the chief of engineers. Moral fortitude and sense of fair play. We have suffered the loss of life from the center of the island. Perhaps they were only trying to get back not to steal it from the rats. Uh, looked uh, well, as I thought. We only wanted to be left alone. He looked towards the center. Uh, Haphazardly bandaged among the rats of the prisoners. As further negotiation as possible. As I left a southern island rat, timidly offering a young cavity prisoner a piece of fresh fish. Hmm. I yeah, couldn't leave his colony, but he relayed Chris to the people that I saw. Um, <clears throat> uh, but he relayed, you know, I'm good at fixing things, he said, Ernestine. I'd like to see more of the world. And then together, so if I can say goodbye to his family before accompanying him on board. Hmm. Oh, Station 3! Sure. A new nation has been founded. There, you finish your diary entry and the final drugs of the rats, surprisingly good wine. I have to salute you as you leave the victory banquet escorting you to ships through the foundations of a new republic. Um, let's see, officers. Well, I shouldn't have done that. Oh, well, that was an event. And station 3 is down, so that's where we'll go. I don't know, I think I'm getting more into it. Originally, I was like, eh, but that's always the case when I start a new game. It's a game that you kind of got to get into, I think. <coughs> I don't really, I mean, I do have, I'm not sure what exactly I should be doing is a thing. I mean, I know that there's a general thing of, you know, you want to get that final boat, you want to complete everything, but... I don't know. Southwest. At least that thing does not appear to be touching the ground. London away from London. Three, we may infer a station one and a station two, we may conjecture a station four. Kennedy hums behind ice steel walls. Up the hill, there are visible lines of warehouses in a building with a spire. So low where they burn it all, and your ship is the only one in the harbor. Just up on the shore, maybe. Okay, deliver a long box. Only way past the walls is an imposing but sturdy looking triple lock gate, a silvery metal. Hi, babe. Beside it reads um, Delivery as the gate stands open. Make delivery. There are no stevedores, however, no wagons waiting to open the heavy cargo. There's only a sign that reads deliveries and with paints insolently up a rock cut staircase. A cargo. Destination a long, low, heavy box. It'll be fun getting up the stairs, no doubt. Up a twisting staircase. There's, um, a good deal of grooming from the crew. The stars are sharp edged and wet. It's heavy and it's constantly inclined to shift. 
He slips in a bad bruise to the shin, you resort to placing crew members along the stairs, heading the box along. There's a warehouse at the top of the stairs, but it's not apparently your destination. Another sign points along no path. Towards the building with the spire. Delivery says more aggressively this time. Someone in the spire building is singing. It says your teeth on edge. Um, you have a long, heavy box, a winding path ahead that runs perhaps a quarter mile through the mist. A crew that is beginning to mutter about having to do land lumber work. Not just your right, but the science is believed to be taken onwards. Is it rather empathetically as well? Hmm. Um, a grudging reward. Oh, thank goodness. Then we're in line with mushrooms. You and your crew have to stop seven or eight times to set them in the box and blow in your hands. Yet the last of the building with fire looks like a church. Walls oh, are soup blackened and made of brick. There are no windows, only narrow vents. Up near the roof from three of these, a little singing can be held. The songs are chivalry. The crew look at one another, frown. I'm keeping the monsters at bay. And so you're close enough to bang on the door. The And a sewer acolyte has hands to it. She's dressed in black from right at the foot. Clever thick leather and her goggles are double glass. In the box is at the door. She says to you and then she turns back towards the building, singing her song. Something about candy kittens and flaming violets in the coming of spring. Mom, she's inventing the words as she goes along. Never explain that you expect your extra work to be rewarded. She makes a grudging um, gesture but complies. In the acolyte's favor. Hmm. <coughs> the austere acolyte directs the arrangement of the long box in the room under the steeple. In the boxes are already stacked in rows through four times as many as you brought. In another corner of the room is a pile of wood from previous boxes already emptied and dismantled, singing to herself about a mountain of holster and vest, velvet, and a crowbar to the box. Besides, so permanently dead in a way that the dead of London often are not. Not a drowny. Not Tim Goss, but one not come back either. Palinix, uh, an ornate except for the slight distension of the skin over the breastbone. The acolyte presses there and nods to his embroidered with the yellow floss. Vine to Marble Slayer without pause. In her lyrics, she provides skeptical your presence does not seem to bother her. We'll watch. Um, uh, metal and metal. The uh, Asura clay extracts deftly with very little blood. Outside a sphere of silver gray metal with a giant nutcracker. She cracks a sphere and another sphere inside that and another. In the center she comes to something heavy, small, and black. She lifts it out with tongs and looks at it through her goggles. Fault is, but she managed to keep humming the word, though the words are lost. Uh, black and everything into a jar marked with the word of the correspondence. The jar and seal of the racks finally when the... Um, Moves again in the marble ab uh, wiped clean. She comes to pay you. Return another day. I have something else to give you. Okay. Return later. Yeah. I'll pause the game when you're ending an episode. We learned that the hard way. So. Enjoy this video, you know what to do. See ya!